Good morning. Today we're talking about fraud. So we want to provide you some potential red flags of, of fraud or freight fraud that can save your business from financial losses and also a reputational damage or a reputation loss. So here are a few warning signs. We're going to get right to it. Please give this channel a like, a sub subscribe, a comment and um, ask me any questions my contact information is in the details of this video and respectfully you guys can also comment in the comments below if you guys have any questions comments concerns feedback whatever the case may be there so first off one of the evident freight fraud uh, red flags is unusually bad or unusually that is low prices Okay, so quotes that are significantly below market rates, or they just seem too good to be true, right? So why is this a red flag? Well, fraudsters often lure victims with attractive pricing. So if a rate is substantially lower than all of the other competitors, it could definitely indicate a scam as well. Um, another thing is unusually high prices as well, right? So if, if, if the market is giving you know, relatively average prices and then or good prices. And then one guy is that is insanely more than all the other ones combined. That could definitely be a red flag for you guys as uh, as well. So what can you do to prevent this? Try to compare the quotes from multiple trustworthy, trusting, verifiable, reputable sources. So if a price seems unusually low, try to investigate further before you actually book somebody on that specific rate that they're giving you, okay? And for carriers, it's the same thing, right? So if if you're looking at the rates posted by brokers and one broker is insanely higher than all the other ones, could be a big red flag as to why that is. Please do your due diligence to find out your investigation, to find out is this legitimately you know, unfortunately, it's come to that. That's where we are in the industry. That's something you're going to have to do. Another thing is a pressure to make really quick decisions. Okay, so urgent requests for immediate action or threats of losing out on a deal. That could be a red flag. So scammers often create a false sense of urgency to prevent uh, victims from thoroughly vetting the offer. Okay, not giving you enough time to look at it at face value. Now take your time to make informed decisions, okay? Legitimate businesses will definitely understand the need for this type of investigation, research, verification uh, process as well, okay? Another thing is inconsistent or vague, mm, kind of bland company details, okay? So what things you can look for is things like very bad uh, or poorly designed websites, um, or those that have almost no information on them could be a definitely a big red flag. Another thing is confusion or inconsistencies with a company's name, addresses, contact details across all kinds of different platforms. Okay, that could definitely be a red flag for you as well. Also, using generic email addresses, unfortunately, there's too much scams going on. So if companies are only using Okay, um, so brokers are only using at gmail.com, at yahoo.com, at hotmail.com, that kind of stuff. That is a red flag. On the, on, the, on the broker side, if carriers are only using at gmail, at hotmail, do your due diligence. I am not saying every single person has a gmail account is a red flag in the system, but there is a higher probability. That's what I'm trying to say with this. So why is this a red flag? So legitimate companies that have invested have consistent professional online presence, okay? Very confusing or conflicting information can definitely indicate a fraudulent uh, or fraudster or fraudulent operation. So you should verify company details through official sources like industry associations or even government registries. For example, the safer website, that's just one example. So be out on the lookout for this type of business practice with limited online presence. Okay, so when when carriers or brokers have limited online presence, it's a cause for concern. 
Another thing is reluctancy or hesitation to provide references. So if there is a refusal when asked for client references or proof of past successful shipments, that's a red flag. So why is this a red flag? Well, reputable companies are usually happy to provide you with references to show you like, hey, look, this is what we did. This is this is why you should take our shipment. Or on the other hand, as a as a carrier, it'd be like, hey, you should call these three, four, five, six, ten brokers and find out how we did for them on their shipments. So hesitation or refusal may indicate a lack of legitimate business history. So it is a red flag. Ask for references. Check the references. Reach out to provided contacts to verify the experiences of the people that have reached out to you to do business with you. Whatever side of the spectrum you're on, whether you're the carrier or the broker, as an, exa as an example. Also, unusual payment requests. Okay. For example, requests for so things you can look for things like requests for upfront payments. Okay, so if a carrier is asking you to pay them immediately, or they're insisting on wire transfers to personal bank accounts, or there's requests to split payments among multiple different accounts, these methods or methods, excuse me, uh, can make it difficult to recover funds if there is fraud that happens. Try to stick to just industry payment practices, standard industry practices, and be cautious of any unusual payment requests that come your way. Another red flag is the lack of proper documentation. Okay, so a reluctance or inability to provide proper licensing, insurance documentation, or official paperwork is a red flag for us as brokers looking at carriers. And legitimate carriers and brokers will always have all the necessary documentation immediately available. There's no, there's not even a, a, a way to hesitate in, in that respect. And always verify licenses, insurance, insurance is a big one, and other crucial documents like a surety bond, like um, the, the authority of the broker, for example, or the authority of the carrier. And check with issuing authorities uh, if in doubt. For example, safer in the in the United States. Okay. Inconsistencies also in the details of the shipments themselves. Okay, so things you can look for if there's differences in shipment weights, dimensions, contents across different documents, that's a red flag. Okay. And this can be a sign of attempted fraud, such as trying to ship prohibited items or manipulate customs fees as well. That's a red flag. That's a problem. Carefully try to review all the shipment documents and also cross-reference details and investigate any discrepancies before proceeding. And always remember, if something seems too good to be true, it's always better to take a step back, stop, investigate further to figure out is this legitimate and try to implement a way forward for verification processes. Try to use technology to help you in these solutions um, to find out or enhance your fraud detection capabilities. Okay. This doesn't mean now you have to go out and spend $5,000 a month. Okay. There are verifiable available sources or tech out there that can help you det detect fraud right in its tracks. As a broker, my opinion is, and this is my suggestion for brokers, when you get a load from a shipper and you find a carrier and you've done your due diligence and you feel that this carrier is the right fit for you, tell the shipper, carrier A is coming in, driver A is coming in, truck number is one, trailer number is two. It should say this name on the side of the truck. If there's any difference to what I have just given you, immediately let me know because this could be a fraud related event and we are just trying to protect your freight and you from being a victim of fraud and also ourselves from being a vict being victims of fraud this simple task is is a human approach to resolving the issue also carriers when you go to a shipper tell the shippers i am here to pick up for abc logistics brokerage as an example okay and if the 
shippers like who the heck is that i don't even know who that is that's a red flag you are about to be a victim of a double brokerage scam or scheme or fraud related event so these are simple free ways for you guys to stop it right in this track so we don't run into these situations okay thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoy this video um in any capacity please give a like it's free to do so and it helps the channel more than you would know so thank you so much catch more videos on the channel and uh, enjoy have a great rest of your week thank you